Instant match reaction, phew. Thank God for that. We never make it easy for ourselves, do we? Everton 2, Leicester City 1 at Goodison Park. A great win for Carlo Ancelotti's Everton. In a game of two halves, really, a first half where we were very, very good, scoring two goals in the first 15 minutes. Fantastic first goal. Absolutely unbelievable ball across the box from Anthony Gordon, showing just what he can do when he's given the opportunity and giving that back to Carlo Ancelotti. Fantastic performance by him today. Richarlison puts it in. First goal back since the return of football. Ball. And then Everton getting a penalty about five or ten minutes later. The first penalty we've had this season in the Premier League. I don't know why it took VAR so long to give it. It was one of the most blatant handballs I've seen all season. It took them about ten minutes to give it, but ultimately they couldn't hide away from this one. Despite the fact they were looking to not give it, they give it. Gilfie Sigurdsson steps up and scores. And I thought Gilfie Sigurdsson had a fantastic game today, to be perfectly honest with you. I thought he did. And then, you know, the first half carries on and, and, and Leicester are coming at us a little bit more. They break down the wing. They counter the tackles a few too many times and you're almost sitting there thinking, right, we need to iron these out. We defended very, very well in that in, in that first half don't get me wrong Michael Keane again an absolute fantastic performance by him Mason Allgate really really solid as well but you could see that Leicester was you know breaking us down the midfield was looking a little bit sluggish um and you know we went into the, the you know the half time two 0 up and it was a it was a decent performance at that point for me we could have got come out you know settled it down a little bit got a third goal and then just killed the game off and and gone from there but in typical Everton fashion we come out we're not concentrating you know we we we're still in the dressing room if you like and Leicester breaks straight away and and get one back almost straight after the you know the um, the halves started and you, you're sitting there then for the rest of the game on the edge of your seat absolutely shitting yourselves because we're Everton fans and that's what we do ball comes in Ianacho gets it Mason Allgate actually hits it onto Ianacho's head he, he volleys it up onto his head it hits him and it goes in um Look, it's a defensive error, not just by Mason Holgate, defensively from everybody. You know, nobody was switched on. Um, he got through, you know, far too easily. Iheanacho and uh, James Madison coming on at half time and really did change the game for Leicester. You know, they give us a lot of a lot of issues. And from that point on, it was always going to go one way. The game Leicester were going to try and break on us and score an equaliser, and we had to soak up that pressure. And and we did that to be fair, but we weren't great. We really, really weren't great in that second half. Like I said, a first half where we were very, very good, and a second half where for me, I thought we were we were poor. We were poor. Leicester were coming at us. They were creating opportunity. James uh, opportunities. James Madison had a couple. Ian Nacho had a couple, and and it was almost, you know, one of those games where you're sitting thinking the inevitable is going to happen here. They're going to grab an equaliser. We're going to lose all our confidence, and then you know they're going to go on and get a winner, and ultimately we're going to have been two 0 up in the game again and lose it. But this is where having a manager like Carlo Ancelotti really, really comes in. This is where having a manager with all of the experience that Carlo's got, with how good of a man manager he is, this is where we needed that type of manager today, and we've got it in Carlo Ancelotti. We go in at the drinks break, like I said, we're being bombarded with balls left, right, and centre. Leicester are playing through us. We're Charleston goes off injured, Tom Davis comes on, I actually thought Tom Davis played well when he come on, but Richie goes off and all of a sudden we lose that attacking threat, we lose that attacking outlet, Dominic Calvert-Lewin had an okay game in terms of his work rate, but didn't really get on the ball anywhere near enough for me, and the midfield started to become more and more absent as the second half goes on, for me Andre Gomez had a shocker, an absolute shocking game today, in the last 5 or 10 minutes he'd done okay to get his foot on the ball and move it forward, but for the first half and and you know the, the first 25 minutes of the second half I thought he was dreadful like I said Gilfie Sigurdsson done okay Tom Davis come on but um, Leicester were pushing us they were constantly pushing us and we went and at that drinks break and it was it was a godsend really because it gave us an opportunity to not only have a break not only Carlo Ancelotti to talk to the players but also to you just absolutely kill Leicester's momentum because at that point Leicester were having a lot of chances a lot of opportunities a lot of time on the ball you know they were playing through us effectively we couldn't get anywhere near it we just had to defend for our lives and, and other than the goal that we can see we did defend well but there was always that fear that there was a constant threat and that that could possibly be turned into a goal and I said I think I tweeted out on oh, oh, the drinks break this is a perfect opportunity now for Carlo Ancelotti to calm these lads down because they're not calm P uh, Jordan Pickford was making rash decisions and rash mistakes where he was coming out for balls that he didn't need to come out for he let one go under his arms and Michael Keane had to literally you know challenge on the line and, and get the ball off the line it was inches away from going in which ultimately would have meant we wouldn't have won the game 
and Carlo Ancelotti brought the lads in for the drink break and whatever he said to him done exactly what we needed it to do he calmed the lads down he come back out he brought Bernard on and it was a much better performance from that point on like I said we were consoling the game Leicester was still breaking arrows but Leicester seemed to have run out of ideas a little bit we were calming on the ball we were defending really really well the midfield started to get on the ball a little bit more Calvert-Lewin was, was running round he was getting involved Bernard come on Bernard was winning balls and like I said that, that's exactly what we needed at that period of time in the game and a game where we've dominated the first half we've come out in the second half we've been getting bombarded with opportunities we're only one goal up you know Leicester are coming at us Leicester very clearly want to get back into the game we needed that team talk from the manager to say just calm this down lads you don't need to push on and get a third if it comes it comes but calm it down don't be giving the ball away don't be doing anything stupid win fouls you know be clever use your initiative and that's exactly what we've done and I thought the referee was atrocious today by the way I thought he'd give far too many uh, fouls to Leicester that simply weren't fouls but we, we work really, really well in that last 15 minutes and I honestly do believe it was because of Carlo Ancelotti's team talk at that water break to say, do you know what, calm down lads, you don't need to you worry, you don't need to panic, you don't need to um be constantly on edge calm it down and, and he did and like I said the, the rash mistakes that we were seeing from Jordan Pickford went away the rash mistakes we were seeing from the midfield went away I thought Gilfie Sigurdsson obviously coming in today Anthony Gordon and Gilfie Sigurdsson coming in for Bernard and Tom Davis thought they were both fantastic today made up for Anthony Gordon getting that assist an absolute fantastic ball across the box another really really good game for him and you can see he's going to be a top top player going forward I'm really really happy for Gilfie as well listen he's had a lot of stick this season from me and from a lot of other Evertonians but he stepped in today and he done well he done his job he, he, listen he's not the most mobile centre midfielder but on the ball he done what he needs to do today and he got his goal as well granted it was a penalty but he took it well and it, you know he got the goal that he, he so desperately needs and ultimately Everton come away with a 2-1 win a game that we all sat and said if we want any aspirations of finishing any European position if we want to end this season strongly we have to beat this team and, and like I said we've gone out and we're beating a team that okay aren't in fantastic form at the minute but I've had a fantastic season and I've got some real real talented players and Carlo Ancelotti again has gone out there the lads have put in a good shift in the first half and then when he's seen that they're struggling a bit in the second he's changed the formation he's changed the game he's brought Yeddy Mina on he's taken Alex Iwobi off he's brought Tom Davis on Tom I thought was really really good when he come on as well I thought he was fantastic when he come on especially towards the last five or ten minutes getting the ball using his body using his feet and again it just shows how confident the players are under Carlo Ancelotti and and ultimately we come away with the win um, I'm made up I'm absolutely made up um, it wasn't the greatest second half and like I said as Evertonians you're always on edge and it, it, it was probably all just aged about 15 years watching that second half but ultimately we won the game and, and that's all that matters and a penalty as well a penalty bloody hell we haven't had a penalty in about 17 years so a penalty to win us the game as well uh, what a uh, ironic uh, how ironic that is as well anyway let me know your thoughts on it in the comment section down below massive win for Everton massive win for Carlo Ancelotti in a game of two halves really but Everton sticking it out to get the three points in the end big big thanks for watching please do leave a like on the video if you have enjoyed subscribe to the channel if you're new as well we'll be back with the player ratings in a little while and then of course the live game review tomorrow at 5 15 big big thanks for watching please leave a like if you've enjoyed subscribe if you're new and we'll see you soon on the mighty blues